Hi everyone, my name is William and today in this video I'm looking to showcase how to perform calculations on your section, submit your section, as well as some of the new tools we've introduced with this update. So to kick things off, I'm just going to add a simple I-beam from the templates and I'm happy with the dimensions at the moment so I'm just going to perform a simple calculation. In the background, it's actually doing a lot of numerical as well as finite element analyses on the results. So here you see results grouped into geometric, uh, moment of inertia, you have section moduli, as well as shear properties and torsion properties. So that's quick and easy. You close the nav here. If you want to make any changes, say for example to the height, 210 for example, you can perform the calculation once more and the properties have changed accordingly. Now you notice that in the standalone version which is accessed by clicking the section builder icon on the left you'll notice that there is no submit button simply because that this acts as standalone software that allows you to view the calculations. However, if you were in Structural 3D which is a full structural engineering analysis software which relates members and now plates you can now create your sections and submit them to identify your members so for example if you've created a member so I'll just do that very quickly I'll create two nodes separated by five meters I'll create a member So I'll just drag one to two, so just find my member. And then if I'm ready to create my section, to specify what cross section this member has, I can go into Builder, which opens up the section builder. However, this is now within Structural 3D. So in a similar sort of way, I'll add the I-beam. I'll do a quick calculation, although a calculation at this point is not necessary. However, if you are looking to view some of the properties to make sure they satisfy your needs, it's recommended to do a calculation, view the properties to see if you're happy. If you're not, make any changes, recalculate, and see if they satisfy your needs. And once you're happy, hit the submit button, which will now tag this as the section 1, so if you need to view it again, you can reopen to Builder, it will reload your section. We'll go back and you'll notice that the member, member number 1, has a section ID of 1, so it's right now it's correctly tagged with the section of choice. Now moving back, so I'm just going to go back to the section builder. You'll notice that we now have a selection of tools available. So we have the ability to clear all. So for example, if I started with an I-beam, we can now clear that and I can change this to say a channel. We have the ability to show the dimensions or hide the dimension lines. So clicking this, I can hide the dimension lines or show the dimension lines. And if I like the screenshot, I press this button which screenshots the shape um, and the display area that you currently see. So clicking screenshot will bring up a pop-up that allows you to download where you're ready. So right now I have this image, I'll just save it here and I'll just open my file, I'll just drag this across now and you'll see that the um, image that we saw before is now displayed as an image. So I'll just close that now. So you can paste that into a report um, if you wish or save it for your records and it's just quick and easy for you to use. So that concludes this video on how to ca make perform calculations, how to submit your section within Structural 3D and how to make use of the various tools. Bye for now.